So I decided to check into a hotel for a few days, just need a little vacation. Well, I'm going on vacation, but I felt like checking into a hotel just to, uh, just because I can. So I got this one. It's not the nicest. I mean, it's cheap though. It was like 65 bucks. For San Diego, that's pretty good, especially this time of year. It's nothing special. But I wanted to say something. It's not, I'm not here to show you my hotel, except all, now that I'm filming, I might as well. Just, you know, something modest, you know. Meh. I didn't even look in the bathroom yet. It's just... Yeah, that's, that's doable. I'm easy, you know. But, I wanted to tell you guys something. Uh, a couple things you need to know about hotels. And it'll save your ass. One, um, if you have a warrant, right? It can be even a traffic warrant. It doesn't have to be anything big. If you have a warrant for your arrest, do not check into a hotel with your ID. You can stay at a hotel, but you better be with somebody who can check in and then they just lie and say that they're by themselves. Because at that hotel, any hotel that runs a driver's license, um, assuming that, you know, if you give me a real license, if you have a warrant that goes into a system, all those driver's license numbers and the cops read that, like regularly, like every hour they'll scan that. And it'll, and it'll fire back to the cops, everybody who's got a warrant for their arrest and what room they're staying in. Now, because you're renting a hotel, uh, you don't have the same rights. They don't need a warrant. They will walk right in, they won't even knock. They'll just you open the door with their key. If the latch, like this one, if the latch is locked like that, when they try to open it, it'll lock. They'll, trust me, they'll get in. And they're not gonna be nice about it either. So, if you have a warrant for your arrest, do not let them have your ID or your real ID, because the cops will be here. I've had this happen to several of my friends. Um, it's pretty much in every major city. That, and number two, this advice goes across the board. This is not just for a hotel, right? This also applies to your house and to your car. Now, you need a lockbox like this, okay? This is not a very expensive one. This one costs like 30 bucks. It's just metal, it's heavy. You know, I mean, it's cheap. Like, you, you know, you probably break into it. I mean, I know you could break into it if you wanted to. But that's not the point. This one actually comes with the cable that I didn't bring with me. A little hole right there, and the cable comes out so you can like latch it to stuff. The point is, if something that you don't want anybody to see is in a box, a locked box, these cops could come in here right now, right? They cannot open this box. They need a separate warrant to open that box. So, they could arrest me for whatever reason, say I had a warrant, and then I need a separate warrant to get this box, to open that box. Now, they could probably confiscate it, right? And they might, might be able to hold it, but they cannot open that box without a special warrant. So that is key. And that's not just in a hotel, that's in your house too. So, anything you don't want people to find, put it in a locked box. Cops, um, doesn't matter if the box, it doesn't matter if you could break this open with a screwdriver. The point is, by law, the cops cannot open that box without a separate warrant. Cars, that works great. Cars are even better. Put your locked box and your shit in the locked box. Put your locked box in the trunk. In the state of California, anyway. Um, the cops need a, a, a separate warrant to get into your trunk because it's considered a locked compartment. So... They'll have to get a warrant to get it. Like they'd search your car, right? Which if they, they can have probable cause, I think they can search your car for probable cause. And we all know that's bullshit because they'll have a dog come out and they'll squeeze the dog's balls and the dog will bark. Now they got probable cause because the dog says, you know, he squeezes balls and the dog thinks there's drugs in there. Not really, but that's all they're going to say. So they'll get in the car. They can't get in the trunk in California. Now with the dog thing, I'm not so sure, but they cannot open that box. So if you're lucky, they'll have to get a... a warrant to open your trunk and then they'll have to get another warrant to open this box now you might get fucked and the cops might give them all the warrants or i'm sorry the judge might give them all the warrants but they may not i've known people that have gotten away with just a simple lock box you know how pissed off the cops are when they have to get a warrant they search your car and they have to get a warrant from the judge to open the trunk right and they got to go back to the same judge and get another warrant to open this fucking lock box you really want to fuck them put a lock box inside this lock box Seriously, like, like the, you know, so it's just one more step for them to go through. And they're serious steps. It's like they have to go and ask the judge to do it. And not all judges are going to do it, especially, you know. So, if you don't want cops to see your shit, get a lockbox. I always carry this. If there's something in there that I don't want people to see, especially cops, lock it up. You know, lock it up. It'll save your ass, trust me. It saved a lot of people.
Daniel? Lockbox. 